Hey everyone, welcome to SFDC Stop and in this video we are going to have a look at conditional rendering in LWC, right? So what I have, I have a very simple component here named as person details and uh, this component is having a lightning card in which the label of the card is showing me the name of the person and the body of the card is showing me the details about the person. Like uh, I have a person named as Richard here and the details is Richard is the CEO and founder of Pied Piper, okay? So if I go to the code, I can simply show you here that uh, I have two attributes in my JavaScript, name and details, where the name is Richard and the details is the details about Richard. And uh, if I go to HTML, I can simply see here that uh, uh, in my lightning card, the title is nothing but a name attribute, uh, which is having a value as Richard. And in the body of the card, I am having or displaying the details attribute and details attribute is having the value as this, right? Okay. So what's the requirement now? The requirement is that I should have an action button on my lightning card and on click of this button, I want to toggle the details of my person, right? So I want to show you hide the details of my person on clicking of this button. Let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to define a new lightning button and uh, this lightning button is going to have a slot attribute as actions because it is going to be an action button and it is going to be a it is going to have a label as let's say show or hide uh, I can say person details and it is going to call my JavaScript method on clicking of this button and that JavaScript method is nothing but toggle details okay and that's it right that's it so if I just go to my local server I can see that I have a new button here show or hide person details it is an action button that's why it's appearing on the right hand side and if I click on this button, I want to toggle the details section out here, right? Okay, so in order to toggle the details section, first of all, I think I should have a Boolean attribute uh, because on the basis of that Boolean attribute, I can display or hide that section, right? Let's create a Boolean attribute named as show details. And initially, I want that my details should not be visible. So I'm assigning it to false, okay? And uh, as I click this button, I'm going to call a function named as toggle details. So let's define a new function here named as toggle details. And inside this function, I'm going to toggle this particular attribute, right? So if this attribute is having a value as false, I'm going to make it true. And in case this attribute is having a value as true, I'm going to make it false, right? So I can simply do that this dot show details is equal to not of this dot show details. So if it is false, uh, the not of false is true, it will be true. And in case it's true, the not of true is false, it will be false again, right? So now what I'm doing, I'm toggling an attribute, which is nothing but show details on click of this button. I can also display this attribute to show you the value. So let's display this once and let's see what's happening. Okay, so let's open our console and here we can see on clicking of this button, I'm toggling the attribute value as true, false, true, false, right? So if it's false, it's coming as true. And if it's true, it's becoming as false, right? So this is how I mean the value is being toggled whenever I'm clicking this button, okay? Okay, so the next task is to use this toggle attribute in our HTML to show or hide the details section, which is, uh, or I can say the details about my person, right? So what I can do, I can use the template uh, tag here and I can add if colon true. So this is to check a Boolean attribute. So this is if colon true is basically a property to check the Boolean attribute. So I'm checking that if my Boolean attribute, which is named as show details, if my Boolean attribute named as show details is true, I'm going to show uh, all the code that is, or I can say everything that is inside this template tag, right? So I'm going to move my details inside this template tag and it will be shown only if my show details attribute is true, right? Let's go to our component back and here you can see that initially my attribute is false so I'm not able to see anything. In case I click this button, I can see the details which is nothing but Richard is the CEO and founder of Fight Piper and in case I click this button again, I'm going to hide the details, okay? So this is what conditional rendering is all about in LWC that uh, you can add a template and you can have an if colon true attribute which is binded to a boolean variable 
and in case the boolean variable is having a value as true it will be showing it and in case it is having a value as false it will it will be you can say uh, hiding it right and it will hide everything which is inside this template tag right similarly uh, it is also possible to have an if colon false attribute uh, and uh, in this case it will check if the boolean attribute is false it will show the details and in case it's true it will not show the details so it will it will work in an opposite manner so initially our show details is having a value as false so it will be showing the details and on click of that button it will hide the details right so let's check it out uh, i'm going to refresh this page and you can see here that initially it is false so it is showing the details and as i click on this it is true so it is hiding the details let me uh, check if our console is there yeah so we can see it very click clearly so initially our attribute is false it is showing the details as i click on this button attribute is true it is hiding the details why because i have added an if colon false here and in case uh, i make it true so in case it is if colon true then it will show the section only if this attribute is true right so let's uh, refresh this page once so initially our attribute is false it is not showing anything in case i click on this button attribute is true it is showing this now attribute is false it is not showing it attribute is true it is showing it right so this is how i mean you can toggle uh, the sections or you can show or hide a particular html by depending uh, i mean depending upon the boolean attributes value which you can define in your javascript right as an enhancement we can also do one more thing like uh, we can update the label uh, according to our boolean attribute value right so i can say that uh, if the details are visible i should show here hide percent details and in case the details are not visible i should show here show percent details right so we can also do that uh, in order to do that what i'll do i'll just update uh, the label as well so let me just create a new attribute or property uh, and the property name is action button label and initially the label will be show details right and uh, i can bind the label of my button to my action button label attribute okay so initially action button label is having a value as show details so it will be visible so here you can see i am having a button value as show details now what i want i want that as i click this button i should update the label right so i should check that uh, i can simply do this dot action button label is equal to if my show details is true then i am going to have a value as hide details and in case my show details attribute is having a value as false i am going to have a value as show details right and that's it so what i can do i can have a, i mean i can set the action button label by checking the show details attribute that if it's true i am going to have a label as hide details because already my details are are being shown right and in case it is not shown or it is false i am going to have a value as show details right so let's see how it's working so initially my attribute is having a value as false so the button name is show details and uh, as i click on this button details are being shown my attribute value is true and in case my attribute value is true the label is hide details because i have checked here if the attribute value is true uh, the label is hide details so this is particularly a conditional operator which will check that uh, if the if the thing or i can say the attribute or the variable which is uh, before the question mark is true it will use this text or if it is false it will use this text and uh, this particular values will be assigned to my uh, this uh, variable right so this is how i mean a conditional rendering is working and uh, you can also uh, change the button label as well as uh, the html that you are showing depending upon the boolean attribute right so i hope this uh, conditional rendering in html is clear to you and uh, i'll share all the code in the video description and i'll add it to a github repository and uh, let me know uh, if you like this tutorial or not in the comments down below and uh, i'll see you in the next video till then have a good day bye bye